many text to image AIs does it take to ruin a light bulb? The, the j answer to the joke is that it depends on the AI you're using because some of them are really good and some of them aren't as good, but they're all pretty amazing. Except for maybe this one. Look, TikTok. TikTok has their own text to image AI. Can you see that on the screen right there? The prompt was lemon character. It kind of looks like Wumbo, if you saw my video on the Wumbo AI. Anyways, folks, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking every single text to image AI that I could find, and there is over 20 of them. So if you ever needed a video looking for alternatives to Dolly 2, maybe alternatives to Mid Journey, yeah, to this is your video because this covers pretty much every single text to image AI. There might be a few scattered ones out there that I missed, but this is over 20 of them. Probably the, the most popular ones for sure, and probably the ones that are gonna be most worth your time. Anyways, as always, I open up my videos with an interesting AI generation of some form. And this image you see is not necessarily our interesting AI generation of the video. However, it's like a capybara mixed with an ape of some form. And this one's from my Discord. Anyways, this is the actual generation for today's video. This is using an AI known as Cog Video, which I've covered here on the channel before. It is the first real text to video AI that exists. It can take a text prompt and turn it into a little GIF video, but you can also submit images. So what this person did here on my Discord is generated an image in Stable Diffusion, which is a text to image AI, of course, and it came out very well, but then they wanted to take it a step further and put it into Cog Video and animate it. And as you can see, it is animated right here and it created something really cool. So yeah, Cog Video can actually create videos of AI generated art and it's super cool. So yeah, I just wanted to include this as today's opening AI generation. I thought this was super cool and I always love to see AI working together to create something really unique. So yeah, this is animating your own AI generations. At any rate, boy is today's video something special. As you guys can see, this is a little list that I have created on Google Docs of 23 of, I guess, my favorites or the, the most popular text-to-image AIs that exist out there in the world. And I have ranked them on coherency, in my opinion at least. You guys might disagree with this list, but I've also generated a basic prompt to try to compare most of these against each other in today's video as well, and we're going to be going through that. This one might be a little bit longer because we have a lot of AI to cover. And of course, all of these will be linked down below in the description for you guys to try in order. And as you can see, I've included these little markers to say whether they're free or paid. And pretty much all the ones that you see that are free and paid have some sort of free option where you can at least try it out first. And then if you want to generate more with it, you'll have to pay with credits. But most of these are all very cheap. I think the most expensive one would be, of course, Dolly 2, which is towards the top of the list. But yes, everyone, what do you guys say? Why don't we get right into this with the first AI at the very bottom of our list, which is NVIDIA Gaugan 2, which is a completely free to use AI. So this is Gaugan 2. This is, of course, developed by NVIDIA. This is an image generation AI that's going to be similar to Another AI we're going to be looking at, which isn't released, which is Meta's Make a Scene. So if you know anything about Meta's Make a Scene, this is pretty much very similar. What I essentially can do here is pick between these various different forms of stone or snow or sky or rock and then draw them onto the scene here and then click this button right here and it's going to try to generate the scene for me. So if I make all of this a mountain down here, just fill it right in like this, and then click this button, it's gonna create a mountain with a sky in the background. It's actually very good at this, but it's not your general text to image AI where you do an entire text prompt and then get an image out of it. So it's at the bottom of the list, but it's an honorable mention at least, and I wanted to include it in this video. So yeah, here it is, NVIDIA's GAN2 AI. That was number 23 on the list. Now moving on to number 22, which is Hot Pot AI, which you probably haven't heard of. It's a pretty slow AI. It's not as popular as the others, but I actually have been using this AI for quite some time now. When I first started getting into AI stuff, probably over a year ago, I used this site. There's a lot of different cool stuff on this site. They have an art personalizer, a background remover, object remover, but they do have a basic 
text to image AI that's just known as AI Art Maker, and it's free to use to a degree. You get a certain amount of credits to generate with, and of course you definitely can get some pretty decent stuff, some coherent-ish results. It's fun to mess around with, and they do have a free option here, so free is always maybe worth a little look at, right? So the prompt I did and I will be using for pretty much every text image AI that has an example in this video is 3D render chibi lemon character with an accomplished look on his face. He is wearing green sunglasses, relaxing on the beach at sunset, and of course this is the Lem character that you've probably seen on my channel quite a lot. He's getting more popular for some reason, and a lot of you viewers seem to really like the Lemon character. So yeah, that's the prompt I'm using in this video. And yeah, here's the result here. We definitely see some sunglasses, a little bit of hint of lemon sort of on the forehead, but in general, it just decided to play it safe and generate a human instead of trying to generate a lemon. So yeah, you, you can really see the limitations of this AI. It doesn't really match the prompt very well. You can see a few aspects of the prompt, but in general, it's just not super, super close. But yeah, here are a few other examples of some generations that are created with Hot Pot AI. So yeah, not too bad. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. This is definitely a car. This dog isn't too bad, but yeah, for pretty much the lowest AI on the list, I say we're doing pretty good so far. Moving on to number 21 on the list, Pixray which is, again, free and paid. This can be found on Replicate.com, which I've talked about before on this channel and included in a lot of my videos. A lot of these AIs are actually going to be hosted on Replicate.com, but when you see an AI that is hosted on Replicate.com, they always have a GitHub page, which means they're just open source. Anyone can mess around with them, so there might be other ways to use these AIs, but generally, uh, the easiest way that I've found is by using this website replicate.com. And what I like about replicate is a lot of times you'll be able to scroll through here and see sort of that's the, f the first image that it started out with and then it moves slowly on and on and on and then eventually you get something somewhat coherent. Honestly, we see like the lemons sort of floating around. There's definitely a beach-ish background going on. It's definitely beach colors, sunglasses for sure we can see in the prompt. It's not super coherent though, but it's not a bad image nonetheless. And this is a very a popular model here on replicate.com with over half a million runs and you can even input different settings for this ai as well so yeah this ai definitely has its benefits it's a very popular one it's not very fast but it's a pretty reliable model here are some other examples of this text to image ai not too bad at all i've i think i've covered it on this channel actually before when i talked about replicate.com in its own separate video but yeah some of these aren't so bad the faces aren't looking that great but i think more of the artistic stuff is where this one really shines and yeah so this one's free with your free trial of replicate.com if you want to use it on that site and then eventually you will have to pay for replicate.com although i have heard there is ways around the payment system with replicate.com i am not allowed to discuss any of those on this channel at all and i have to recommend that you guys pay for replicate.com honest to god it really is not all that expensive replicate is a pretty easy on the wallet service to pay for and you get access to an absolute ton of different ai anyways folks moving up the chain to cog view 2 this is i believe made by the same folks that made cog video which of course is the ai that we discussed in the opening generation of this video generate vivid images for any Chinese or English text. So yeah, this is actually a pretty darn coherent text to image AI. As you can see, you get a lot of examples when you do use it. Let me go ahead and move my face cam over. Of course, I'm using that same prompt of the chibi lemon character wearing sunglasses on the beach. With Cog View 2, you can actually choose a few different styles. We have oil, comics, photo, and with this prompt, I got, what is this, like 16 different results, something like that. And honestly, they're not too bad. We can definitely see that 3D render aspect to it. I think pretty much every single one of these little characters that it's generated is wearing sunglasses of some form, and most of them do appear to be on the beach. This guy's in the water. This guy's definitely on the beach. This is definitely a lemon. The lemon is really what seems to be most lacking with this AI in terms of the coherency of grabbing the prompt that I gave it. And honestly, this is sort of starting to get into those models that are a little bit more coherent, similar to 
a very popular text to image model. I'm sure all of them we will cover in this video, Crayon. So yeah, this is sort of starting to get towards the Crayon territory of uh, text to image AI quality. A lot of these images are generating with watermarks, which of course is something you never really want to see with text to image AIs, but definitely getting more coherent as we move up the list. And Kongview 2 is a pretty decent model. And I like that you get 16 images, which is quite a few images out of this one when you generate with it. So moving from Cogview 2, we are now going to be looking at Disco Diffusion, which has been a super high requested AI for me to take a look at here on the channel. As you can see, I've run the same prompt here, and you might notice that this is looking a little bit less coherent than the last model that we looked at, but this model personally for me is just going to overtake Cogview 2 because of the sheer amount of options that you have with it. There's just so many different options to mess around and play with. First of all, we can say the width and the height of the images here, so we can just get HD imagery right off the bat and different amount of steps, which is how far the generation goes. And as we can see here, this is sort of how my lemon character prompt generated for this AI. As you can see, you can even change the diffusion model here as a setting, and there's a ton of different ones to pick from. So there really is just so much here with Disco Diffusion that I had to include it above the other one. You could definitely could get something more coherent than what we saw in the last AI with Disco Diffusion, just with messing around with all the different settings. You can even change the sampling mode. So there's another setting right there and all of these different various settings to mess with. There's just quite a lot here for Disco Diffusion. You can do initial image and a target image. There is so many options and so much to play around with with Disco Diffusion, but I just left the basic settings here and then try to generate this. So yeah, this, this could be a poor example of Disco Diffusion. There really is quite a lot here to mess with. As you can see, here is a few different examples of Disco Diffusion that probably represent what the possibilities are a little bit better. These all seem to be lighthouse imagery, but yeah, this is sort of looking more like a painting, definitely more coherent than that lemon image that we generated earlier. And this one's sort of like a galaxy. So very cool stuff. And yeah, Disco Diffusion definitely can be a very capable model. And there's a ton of settings and a bunch of different stuff to mess around with. So moving up on the list to number 17, this is Glide XL. This is a 1.4 billion parameter text to image model from CompViz and it's fine tuned on clip text. So yeah, this is actually a pretty darn big model. 1.4 billion parameters is really no joke. And obviously I've put the same image in here and we actually get something very coherent. I mean, it is definitely missing the lemon aspects of the prompt but we definitely get a nice, pretty clear 3D render here. The dude is smiling. We can definitely see some sunglasses and even some hands poking up here. But yeah, this is starting to get a little bit more clear. And obviously you can definitely get imagery that looks a lot better than what you're seeing in this example here. This is again, a pretty poor example, I think of the capabilities of this model, but you can also submit initial images to generate off of. There's a negative prompts here, so you can put stuff in here that you won't see in the imagery. So let's say I didn't want to see any sunglasses. I could write sunglasses in here and they wouldn't appear at all in my image. We can also adjust the size of the image. So right now it's at 256 by 256. So width and height is also adjustable with this AI. Just like the previous one we looked at, there's also a steps option, seat option and guidance scale. So yeah, this is actually a pretty capable generator when you put your mind to it. And on the website here, there's really only one other example, and this is a cyberpunk girl and she looks all right. It's pretty coherent. And I think this is something that's definitely a little bit more coherent than maybe some of the other models we have looked at so far in this video. So moving on into my list, we are going to be looking at Night Cafe, which is a very famous text to image model. I think this is the best implementation of VQGAN. In my opinion, this website I've talked about before on my channel a little bit, there is great options, great GUI to sort of mess with and adjust different settings. You can generate different sized imagery and get some really nice stuff out of this text to image model. And of course we gave the same prompt another shot and it didn't really work out so well in this case, but there are a lot of settings so we could mess around with it and see if we get something better. But yeah, this is the image that we got. And I mean, we could definitely see some lemon over here and some form of sunglasses, but it's very incoherent and very messy. However, yeah, I think this is just sort of a bad example 
of this model. If we go to the Explore tab here, we can see a lot of really amazing imagery that has been generated with Night Cafe, and this butterfly is actually crazy good, honestly, for Night Cafe, I have to say. Probably one of the most coherent images I've ever seen here on Night Cafe. There's different styles you can pick from. This is clearly some sort of a steampunk style, which I know is a different style you can choose from on this one, similar to Wumbo. If you guys have seen that, there's different styles you can pick from. But yes, in general, with Night Cafe, there's a bunch of different settings. Again, easy to use. So you can end up creating some really amazing imagery right on this web app. And style transfer is also an option with Night Cafe. And here's a little taste of all of the different settings and the layout of Night Cafe. I know talking to some of my viewers, this one's actually kind of a little bit of a fan favorite. We have the general artistic style and plus clip or the clip guided diffusion. Prompt, weight, accuracy boost, aspect ratio, thumbnail. So yeah. Pretty nice website. Moving on from that, we're going to be looking at Latent Diffusion. And by the way, guys, all of these different AIs that you've seen up until this point have been paid access and free trial. However, Latent Diffusion here on HuggingFace.com is completely free to use. I've also covered this on the channel several times. This is a very coherent model that seems to do text very well. You'll see it's similar to a few of the other text to image AIs that we have looked at so far in this video, giving it the same prompts, we get something that's somewhat coherent. These could just be bad generations. Again, I keep saying that, but it is really a, a thing that happens. Sometimes you just get a bad roll of the dice with generations, especially towards these lower end-esque models. We can definitely see the beach though, definitely see that 3D render aspect. We definitely see some form of a character here at least and sunglasses. So it's in the right direction. This uses the Leon or Lion 400M data set, and uh, it's created by CompViz, which I believe also created the uh, Disco Diffusion. I'm, I remember I, I talked about it earlier in the video, but there are a few different settings here. We have steps, which of course is how far the images sort of generate into. We have width, so we can go all the way up to 256 by 256, which really isn't big, but you can always use one of those free upscalers that work really well to upscale any smaller low res images that you generate with any of the models you see today. You can choose to generate up to four different images here on the hugging face demo, which again is completely free. So that's a really big bonus here and pretty much a huge reason why it's so far up on the list. It's, it's a completely free model to use right now. And we have diversity scale so we can change how different the images are from each other. And yeah, these are the two examples we got, which weren't super great. Another reason that Latent Diffusion is so high up on the list today is because it is phenomenal at doing text, which I've covered on this channel before. So definitely if you want to make some sort of a text thing, I mean, most AIs aren't great at text, but this one's probably one of your best bets at getting some good text. So yeah, the next one is also going to be using that same Leon or Lion 400M data set. And this is just known as Lion AI Ehrlich on replicate.com. Oop, my camera is in the way. So yeah, this model is actually very similar to the one we looked at before. It uses the same data set, but there's a few small differences. This one is specifically great at creating new types of logos to use. So you can pretty much very easily see that and the images that are generated. Again, I tried that same lemon prompt. We definitely got some form of a character, sunglasses in each single one of them. They are all at the beach, which is really nice to see. This is really starting to get coherent, almost usable images now on our list today. I think all of these images are pretty decent and pretty nice. This one's clearly just an old man. None of them are lemons for whatever reason. It just decided not to really include them, although they do seem to be holding lemons in a few of these images. But you know, this one's actually pretty decent. This one's pretty decent. This one's pretty coherent as well and more coherent than the images that we looked at in the last one. Getting into a few different settings that we can see with this AI, we can see it's the same thing where we can put negative words in. So words that will never appear in the image when you type them into this field up here. We can do initial images to base our final images off of, which is always a nice feature to include with our AI. AIs. We also have a mask so we can do some form of an in-painting actually which is really nice to have and really nice to see. Now this is a little bit more complicated to do but it's not too difficult. You can actually do in-painting 
with this image generator. There is also a guidance scale here. The higher this number is, the more it will fit the caption and the lower it is, the more creative it'll be. Different amount of steps. Again, that's how far the image is sort of generated, how long it keeps generating. The batch size, this is of course how many images. We can actually go all the way up to 16 images if we want. And again, we have some different resolutions we can generate off of going all the way up to 384 by 384. And again, if you want to get something bigger, you can always use an upscaler. There's an aesthetic rating you can use as well, an aesthetic weight, different seeds. So yeah, there's actually a lot of different options with this AI and it's advertised as a logo generator, but I think it's capable of a lot more and it's definitely well-deserved on this list. I would definitely give this one a shot. This is also on replicate.com, like a lot of these, which is a free trial and then paid use after. And again, it's a, it's pretty cheap. It's not very expensive at all. Our next AI is going to be Wumbo's Dream, which I've covered on this channel pretty recently. A lot of you guys in that video actually didn't seem to like this AI that much, and you said it was kind of cruddy and just not a very good AI at all but I think it's pretty well deserved on this list and I still personally think it's actually kind of an underrated AI. You can actually get really good stuff out of this and I know they have like NFTs built in. Some of these text image AIs have NFTs as a core part of it, but you can always just ignore that whole core thing with it and just not use the NFT side of things and just ignore it which is kind of what I do. Anyways, this is that same lemon prompt generated here with Wumbo's Dream. And again, Dream actually by Wumbo is a completely free one to use. You can completely just free use this in your browser or on your Android phone as an app or iOS as an app as well. There's a lot of different options for different styles you can choose from. It's pretty fast at generating. There's really not too much to complain about. You can pay for like a paid use thing and get a few more options and get faster generations and all that. But with free to use, there's not too much to complain about here. Here is the lemon character that it seems to have generated here. And it's actually, I think, pretty coherent. We definitely see the sunglasses. Most definitely see that he is on the beach and it's definitely like a 3D render pixar animation looking type of thing he's definitely wearing a yellow shirt which is sort of signifying lemons we see a few lemons here but he isn't a lemon character himself like we're more of looking for so yeah i mean it's it's pretty decent though i think overall a lot of you guys don't seem to like dream by wumbo that much but i think it's a pretty good one especially for being free and including all of these different options that you can mess around with, including being able to pick a base prompt and picking whether it's normal or strong. The interface is really easy and nice to use for newer users as well. So yeah, I don't think Dream by Wumbo is that bad at all, and I suggest you guys give it a shot and uh, mess around with it for a little bit. So moving on to another completely free to use AI, this is Dolly Flow. Unfortunately, the main issue with this AI is that it's a little bit more difficult to use than the others considering that it runs inside of Google Collab. I will link it down below, but essentially the way you use this one is you go through each one of these little run programs. You see this little arrow at the side here and you just go one by one running them to get your AI generation. Eventually this sort of sets up the, the runtime, so to speak, and then this connects to the server, and then this is some other pending requests thing. And eventually you put your actual prompt in. Again, I put that same lemon prompt in. Then we get to generate four images from Dolly Mega, which is this uh, common open source data set a lot of these AIs use, which is also, I believe, what Crayon uses as their data set as well, as you'll see when we look at Crayon. The images here aren't so bad, pretty coherent. This time we're actually finally starting to get lemon characters, actual characters that are lemons themselves. And most of them do seem to be wearing sunglasses here. This guy is my favorite, and that's why I picked it with Dolly Flow. You'll see it's my final generation here. But this one's also pretty similar. Definitely on the beach at sunset wearing sunglasses. This guy's also got sunglasses. He's a little bit more of a strange lemon character, though. And this guy is completely deformed and coherent. But we got some decent imagery nonetheless. So yeah, you can pick with Dolly Flow which one of your first generated images is your favorite. So I picked this number one image up here. And then as you can see, that's where I did that right there. And then what you do is you diffuse them and make a few variations of that image, which we did right here. And then you pick one of those favorite ones to finally upscale 
as your final image, which I did right here. So this was my favorite image. And what's really nice is that when you actually do decide to upscale it, it generates in a 1024 by 1024 with the built-in upscaler which is actually really nice to see. I think it comes out pretty decent. This is probably the most coherent image you have seen so far on the list with this same prompt. We got the full lemon character. He's got legs standing there, some form of a shadow. He's on the beach. He's got sunglasses. Pretty much every part of our prompt is now at least in here, whether it's really good looking or not. So Dolly Flow's not so bad, and I recommend giving it a shot. It's actually a lot faster than it used to be as well from what I can see. So moving up on the list, going back to replicate.com. So again, this is free trial with paid access once the trial runs out, but it's pretty cheap paid access. We have min dash dolly. So this is dolly mini pretty much. Think of this like the older, less updated version of crayon. This is a pretty fast one as well. It generates very quickly and you get an absolute ton of images when you do decide to actually generate with it. Again, you can put your prompt up here. We've got top K, super condition factor, temperature, a few different options like that. And yeah, the grid size is a five by five. So you get a lot of images out of using Min Dolly here on replicate.com, which is really cool to see. And they, again, like I said earlier, generate really fast and they're not super high resolution or anything, but you can always, again, use some of those free upscalers that eventually I'm going to make a video about to upscale and make these images larger. So again, we're starting to see images now that are actually finally a lot more coherent. Some of them have that accomplished look, which is a part of the prompt as well, and they all seem to be relaxing. So we're again starting to get more into that coherent territory with these AIs as we move up the list. So yeah, this one is really nice to just get a bulk ton of images. And when you generate as many images as this, you're bound to get a few good ones in there. So yeah, definitely check this one out linked in the description. So moving up from this to its sort of successor you could think of, this is finally Crayon, which we're looking at today. And Crayon actually recently got an update making it a little bit more coherent, a little bit nicer, which I think definitely reflects in these images generated right here. We're getting a little bit more detail, a little bit more cr clarity in this prompt compared to the AI that we looked at in the last one. All of these lemon characters are clearly on the beach at sunset, which is really nice to see. They're all very similar to each other, actual lemon characters. They're not random Pixar looking characters. They're finally all actually full lemon bodies. Most of them have legs, and I think all of them here have sunglasses as well, and they're actually looking pretty decent too. Some of them actually have mouths, like this guy right up here, he's got a mouth. For example, this guy right here, he looks pretty decent, I have to say, not too bad. So does this one. Crayon's also completely free to use, of course, which is probably its biggest selling point, and it's very easy to use, it's very simple. We get nine images, which is a decent amount of images for a text image generator. And yeah, honestly, Crayon is definitely improving and getting a little bit better. Again, they just had that recent clarity update, which gives it a little bit more sort of polish on all of these images. And yeah, they're definitely starting to get a little bit more artistic, a little bit more professional, less AI mushmash generated. Definitely very nice to see. And uh, yeah, Crayon has always been a great option. Taken my sweatshirt off because now we're going to be getting into the big boys. But before that, I'd like to give this app a, an honorable mention. This isn't really an AI generator itself. This is more of just an AI generation interface that you can use to interact with a few different AIs. This is Minds Eye Beta AI Art Pilot. And yeah, I'll link this down below if you guys want to give this one a shot, but it's just a really nice tool that you can use right in your browser to generate a ton of different AIs completely for free. So yeah, this one's really cool. Check it out with the link in the description below, Minds Eye Beta. I'd also like to mention Deep AI. This one is also a pretty decent text to image generator. I've talked about it on the channel before, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get Deep AI to work today for today's video. So this is another one of those honorable mentions. It's a decent text to image AI. So moving into some of the better, more coherent models, this is VQ Diffusion. I actually made a video on this one yesterday, and this is actually surprisingly developed by Microsoft. So this is Microsoft's first little delve into text to AI, or rather text to image AI research. So I put the same lemon prompt in, and we can see it's a little bit squaggly, a little bit messed up, but we can see some real quality stuff 
sort of in the background there, we can definitely see some really nice waves. While the Lemon character is a little bit mesh mashed and he looks like he's got piercings, the sand and everything in the sun up here is actually starting to look really good. This is some quality stuff. They're all wearing sunglasses, definitely yellow, Pixar-looking lemon characters themselves. But, you know, when you give it a little bit of an easier prompt, such as just the teddy bear playing in the pool, we start to get some really quality results, photorealistic stuff that I could be tricked into thinking was an actual photo. And I covered this one in my last video, so yeah, you can go check that video out. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this VQ diffusion from yesterday's video. But yeah, this is a quality text to image AI. And again, it's a free trial here on replicate.com if you want to mess with this one. Very cool AI indeed. So this is an unreleased AI and we don't know how much it's going to cost, but this is actually from Meta, aka Facebook. So this is what I was talking about as the first AI in this video and videos. This is a very similar concept to that where you can paint stuff in. So yeah, this is the original painting they did, and it tries to generate the image based off of the little picture that you drew, which is really cool. So this isn't your typical text to image AI, although I'm sure it could sort of work like one. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be very powerful, a very competitive model. They're taking a different a creative sort of take on the whole text to image generation scene. So uh, I'm excited to see how this one comes out and what it's going to be like. But yeah, it starts to look very, very competitive. It looks like they have some good AI here on their hands, but we'll have to wait until this one releases and we can test it out. This is actually a pretty good little example here. A hot dog floating in the sky. Photo high resolution. That's definitely a hot dog floating in the sky, no doubt about it. Cool stuff nonetheless. Moving on to Shonenkov AI. A lot of you guys have heard of this one. I made a whole video that discussed this one as well. In fact, if you want the link to this one because it's in its own special Discord, you can join my Discord with the link in the description of this video. And in my Discord, there will be a link to Shonenkov AI. This is a 12 billion parameter text to image AI model. Again, it's only available through Discord, but it's a very powerful one. Here is some example imagery from this Discord. And yeah, it's it's absolutely insanely good. And again, it's free to use, although you can only do like 10 or so prompts a day at the most, I think, and they take a very long time to generate. You do get some very high quality stuff. I've seen plenty of times Shonenkov can produce photorealistic imagery, and yeah, it is a very capable model nonetheless, so I definitely recommend checking this one out. 12 billion parameter Russian model, very few restrictions, very good model, and very capable. So, moving on to another AI that I'm sure needs no introduction, this is Midjourney. We all know about Midjourney, it's a very good option for generating. We've got different paid plans for Midjourney, I'm sure that you guys know about the $10 a month and the $30 a month plan. Very capable of generating absolutely fantastic art. Here's just the basic opening of page. There is a free trial with this one, but yeah, after that it's paid access and it is just capable of generating absolutely fantastic artwork. It's been doing faces really good and recently it got an update, which is really nice to see. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a very good AI to look at. I'm sure it doesn't need much of an introduction. Midjourney. Moving on up the list, sort of getting to the end, Stable Diffusion. This is an AI that I made an entire video about pretty recently actually, so check my channel out for the full details on this one, but basically this is a AI that's more focused on producing like coherent results, right, but also very aesthetically pleasing results. And this one is managed by Stability AI that makes Stable Diffusion, which I also recently talked about and made a video about. So yeah, this AI uses stable diffusion to generate its stuff, but the data set itself is this simulacra aesthetic captions data set. So this is a highly filtered data set and a very nice one at that. And as you can see, it's a very capable model. And in my opinion, at least it produces better imagery than Midjourney. I do have access to this one, but it is in closed beta for the time being. And one day it is going to be open to uh, the public domain and you guys will be able to mess around with it. So I do have access to this one on Discord. It's available through Discord, but it seems that it's actually not really working at the moment. Probably something to do with the actual stable diffusion beta that is actively going on. And that's actually our next one. Stable Diffusion, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually in this closed beta here, but it's going to open up very shortly as a open source 
public access text to image AI, very capable as well. As you can see, it is a very coherent model. It's capable of quite a lot. And right now it's available through this Discord with 1400 members in it. You can sign up to apply for the beta to get accepted with the link in the description below. So yeah, this is closed beta, but it's pretty easy to get into this beta. Again, it's going to be open source pretty soon. So anybody can take it, make a Discord bot with it, or make their own website with it, or make their own app with it. And you will be able to run this one on your own computer as well, which is really cool to see. So yeah, this is a very capable model and it can do a lot of fun stuff like generate famous characters and generate famous people. So yeah, this is a very unlimited model. And some people actually prefer this one over Dolly too. So yeah, Stable Diffusion. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion, I definitely recommend watching that video, but it is fantastic. So finally, everyone, we're actually getting towards the top of the list here. OpenAI's Dolly 2. Closed beta, but there is a lot of people now in Dolly 2. We all know about Dolly 2, the most famous and well-known text image AI that's out there right now. And uh, yeah, here is Dolly's version of this lemon character. You can see he's relaxing on the beach, very coherent. He's got the sunglasses, the beaches in the background. It's it's a very nice, pleasing looking image, very coherent. And yeah, I'm sure I don't really need to do much explaining with Dolly 2. It's a very famous AI, and I'm sure pretty much all of you know about it at this point in time. Very cool stuff from Dolly 2. A little bit controversial on the pricing. It is currently a, like a little bit of a free trial, a few fee free credits when you first get accepted into the closed Dolly 2 beta. And then you, of course, have to pay 13 cents per prompt after that. But yes, I think everyone at least can appreciate Dolly 2 for uh, something that it can do. It's a very, very good text to image model indeed. So finally, folks, we're talking about the number one AI on our list today, which is a completely closed off beta. This is Google's party. So yeah, this, this model is definitely the best text to image model that exists right now, even though we don't have access to it. You can scale this model from anywhere all the way down to 350 million parameters, which is a little bit smaller than mid journey, all the way up to 20 billion parameters, which is larger than Shonen Kov, which is 12 billion larger than Dolly two, which is about three and a half billion. So uh, yeah, this is a huge model. Actually, quite a simple model when you look at the diagram here. It's it's pretty simple and it just sort of upscales like small images. So it's probably very quick when you do use it. But, you know, of course, we don't have public access to this one. Yeah, this is just a very powerful model. A lot of you, I'm sure, have heard of it. It's It's just absolutely insane. The amount of coherency that this is capable of and the artistic integrity that it can probably produce. It just understands imagery and text at a, at a level that humans probably can't even comprehend. So yeah, this is just the most insane text image that exists right now at the moment. One day, maybe it will be public, but who really knows? I just wanted to have it on the list here as an honorable mention, I think, at least. But it is insanely capable, and yeah, it's just an insane model. And yeah, it's probably better than Dolly 2 or Stable Diffusion, the other top two models, but cool stuff nonetheless. Completely closed off, so it's really not that important to think about right now. So yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is a very large list and it took quite a long time to go through, so I'd appreciate if you dropped a like if this video was helpful. Again, all links are down in the description below. Please check out my Discord where you can join the community and talk about different AI stuff. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you like my content and check out my other videos. I'm at Video Productions. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.